The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how to act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, coded references are references that have been linked to nodes. In this video, we show you how to visualise and act on coded references within the detail view and retrieving coded references as a result of a query. Because coded references are references that have been linked to nodes, they are stored at nodes. This means that we need to open a node to view them. Before I do that though, let's just take a quick look at this column in the list view, which tells us how many references have been linked to each node across all our sources so far. You can see that I can sort the coded references according to the numbers. Opening a node activates all the links between the node and the references in their source context. Remember from reading chapter 5 that the process of coding does not copy references and paste them at nodes, it's just a linking process. So these coded references, listed here in the reference view, they are the real data segments. We're just looking at them collectively via this node that's been called natural environment. This view that we're looking at right now is the detail view whenever you open a node, with an emphasis on the qualitative retrieval. And when I scroll down, you'll see all of the references source by source. We can get different views, however, by choosing one of the tabs down the right hand side here. I'll just open up the summary tab. This gives us some quantitative information about how the coded references for this node. We haven't got time in this video to discuss this information in detail, but it's important to realise that what NVivo is counting here is the number of discrete references that have been coded at this node. That's what we're seeing in this column here. This may not be the same as the number of times the concept that the node represents has been mentioned. That would be depend on the decision made earlier about the unit of meaning to which the nodes are applied. Let's have a look at a couple of the other views. If we choose the picture tab, it will show us any pictures that have been coded at this node and the audio tab and the video tab and the data set tab show us alternative views based on data type. However, the reference tab and the summary tab show us information about all references that have been coded at this node, irrespective of data type. If I flip back to the reference view, it's just worth knowing that it is possible to act on these coded references from within this detail view, from within the node. One way is to click on the hyperlink up here to retrieve the coded references within their source context. That will highlight the coded references in yellow here that were coded at the node that we jumped back from. Here we can see others. So it's easy to flick from the node that collectively shows us all coded references back to see the coded references within their source view. Another action that can be taken on coded references from within this view and from within the source view is to continue coding. Or in other words, to link a particular coded reference or part of one to another node. In fact, selecting a coded reference or part of it and right clicking shows us the various actions that can be taken on coded references. As well as accessing coded references from the nodes to which they have been linked, coded references can also be retrieved as the result of running queries. In fact, the final result of many queries is a set of coded references, and this is therefore often a key way of acting upon coded references. Let's just go and have a quick look at a query result. I'm going to open up the result of a matrix query. And this one shows us the co-occurrence or intersection 
between two sets of nodes. The rows are case nodes, representing the different places in which respondents in this project live. And the columns are nodes that capture the general attitudes expressed by these respondents. The display in this query result is currently set to count coded references. So the numbers are telling us how many co coded references occur at each intersection between a case node and a node that has been generated by coding. To retrieve the actual coded references, we can just double click on the cell that we're interested in. There are various other actions that we could take on coded references. In this video, we've just given you a flavour of some of these. Once you start using coded references in your own MVivo project, watching this video again will consolidate your understanding of them, as will watching the other videos in this set, particularly the videos on references and nodes.